You recall when we were creating this new offline address book that we were asked what the generation server would be. Now the generation server handles the creation and update process of the offline address book before placing the files on a share. So if you need to change or move the offline address book generation server, the way you would do this is from the Exchange Management Console. Here you have the Organization Configuration Work Center, the Mailbox node, and then on the offline address book tab, if we select the offline address book that we need to alter, there's an option here, Move. We can click that, and we can change the offline address book generation server by using this wizard. You notice the other option, however, set as default. In the event we want to change the default offline address book, which is not something you would do often, you could do it by selecting this option here. You can also select properties in order to modify the offline address book properties in terms of the update schedule, perhaps address lists that are included if you wanted to change some of the options that we selected when we were creating the offline address book, and then the distribution method. In this case, we're supporting a variety of different clients because we're distributing it by public folder. However, if we enable web-based distribution, let's say we reach a point where all of our Outlook clients have been upgraded to Outlook 2007, we can enable web-based distribution, provide the virtual directory where we want this to be distributed from, and then we can move off of the public folder structure. So we hope you found that informative, and we'll see you in the next lesson.